Do you love the Hollywood fashion from the 1930s? In this video, I'll give you a few simple tips on how to add glamour to your everyday wardrobe. The best advice on vintage style and historic fashion, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you always know when new videos come out. I'm Ren and my company's name is Spirits of Fashion. I've been collecting and wearing vintage clothing and accessories for over 30 years, and I continue to teach history of fashion for many groups who love the styles of the past as I do. So let's get right into the four steps that can add glamour and excitement to your everyday wardrobe. Step one. Look at styles from the 1930s and see what inspires you. You can easily find images of 1930s fashions in books about fashion history or online. Step two, look to the silver screen. If you have a favorite actress from the period, maybe her wardrobe will inspire you. I'd love to know which actresses from the 1930s inspire you most. So let me know in the comments below and let me know if you've ever tried to emulate any of your favorites. Check your local thrift or consignment stores to look for more modern styles that reflect the 1930s. For example, I found this dress in a thrift store last year and it really has the look of the 30s with the sort of fluttery sleeves and almost cape-like effect. It's easy to find many kinds of prints that are also very similar to 1930s styles. They were quite small prints and they were more somber in color in general. This was the era of the Great Depression, so people were a little bit more serious during that time and the fashion reflected that. Also in 30s fashions, the waistline that was so low in the 1920s eventually came back up to the natural waist. Skirt hems lowered again and the style was kind of slimming and more body conscious than it had been in the 1920s. In the evening, the main body part that was shown for special evening wear was the back. Uh, the dresses of the time would often have low backs um, or almost no back to them. And that was often a style that women liked to wear to the supper clubs of the period. Madeline Vianna, a very popular designer at the time, made bias cut dresses, which really hugged women's curves in a very flattering way. And finally, step four, as I mentioned in my video on the 1920s, sometimes women feel more comfortable starting with accessories than a whole outfit based on a certain period. Uh, I wear hats such as this beret. This is actually a vintage hat, um, but it's easy to find styles like this today that can really look 30s, especially if you wear them tilted to the side. Uh, so this is something that can easily be found for a very reasonable price in most thrift stores. Really look at images from jewelry and handbags and shoes from that time period as well, because you can often thrift items that are more modern, but really resemble those styles. And if you'd like more vintage style inspiration or information about Spirits of Fashion, please click on the link below and go to my website and you can sign up there for my monthly newsletter. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and I've linked those below as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!